Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And we got something slightly different for everybody today. It is a new family which we haven't covered before, but these are absolutely insane. And a quick disclaimer, do not ever ever try this at home. It is um absolutely insanity but done by trained professionals so just don't ever swing off a, a ribbon that's attached to the ceiling because it's not going to end well these are the mcfive circus they have 7.7 million followers and looking at the stunts that they perform it's no wonder We're why but circus, you I have know? a couple We've of been doing this issues for three years. with this I'm going to get into this that right now. Time. That's right. I am a certified aerial soaps teacher, and I'm the ringleader, you know. And remember, safety is our number one priority. Safety first. And maybe you're wondering, just maybe, how does it get on the balcony? Let me show you. Me, right <laughs> there you go. I usually climb up. Sure you do. I actually do. Okay. <laughs> so yes, all stunts are performed by professionals and or performed under supervision of professionals. I'm a professional. Not you. So yes, this is Kelly. She is an aerial silks teacher and she is the trained professional. This is their disclaimer video, if you like, to show that every trick, every stunt, every jump, every everything you see on their There's videos is done in Can I the help you? company of a trained at? professional. And take a guess? not to try this at home. However, my issue with it is things like this. See, if she was over there in the kitchen or wherever and her daughter is climbing up high in the living room or whatever room that is, then she is not overseeing the stunt at that particular time if you notice we have all professional and that's the issue that i have i don't know how safe i'm not saying she's not safe i'm not everything. saying that that's this true. girl is not limits, trained course, i'm just saying she's not being overseen at that particular time by that's not what he meant that's not what he meant he said that the force won't pull it out of the structure so many times when people watch the channel, things seem out of control, but what I'm trying to say is it's very much in control. Aren't you? This is my room. Controlled chaos, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Controlled. Can I have my car back? Your car? If you show them a cool drop. Uh -huh. So there you go, message to the haters, well received, it's done with supervision and we're not to worry, but also don't do that at home, whether you're a hater, a lover or anything, right? Now, that is actually not the issue that I have with the family, I just think it's insa insanity and, you know, they do them, right? My issue is with a couple of things, apart from the fact that they obviously exploit their children, and that's never a good thing, but a couple of things which seem a little off to me, and maybe it's just me, but this, why I, I call you? my child an it. And she's not joking either. Watch this. There's a cat. Can I help you? 
Where are you at? Let me take a guess. What are you doing up there? You're not, you're not a cat. You're on a balcony as a bile. No. Is a bile? Are you in a mood? I can tell you're in a mood. Did why are you up there? So the basic premise there is that this child is a little bit wacky, she's a bit crazy, but you know, in a lovable way, but a little bit wacky, and then things like this. It was born this way. And there she is making some, God knows what that is. It is a creature. She's making some sort of, like, sweet thing. And it needs sugar to survive. It's hungry. This is, you see the, the theme throughout this little montage here. How normal kids like to eat. And then what it likes to eat. And there's an... Un ungodly amount of sugar involved here, right? It's excited, and you can see the theme. And yeah, apart from really insane amount of sugar, happy with itself. You see the the idea here she's calling this girl it the entire time throughout the whole thing it 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 does this it does that it's a creature it eats this it does that it's not done and there you go yeah that was lovely doesn't it <laughs> but the point is it she's calling her child an it right and I'm not entirely comfortable with this at all. And it's not just that. Look at all these thumbnails right here. It's going in the naughty list. Should be on the naughty list, by the way. It launched the cake. I'm scared to wake it up. It eats cats and pancakes. For some reason. How to wake it up. Do you see the theme here? Preston hit Isabel. It's crying. Calling Isabel an it. Dad babysits it. Gone wrong. Waking up the beast. Now that just tops it all off really. Tops the, the biscuit. Cup tops the cake. In terms that you understand. Right, so you see the point there. They've basically, they have this theme throughout the entire video and it, it is insane, right? But calling your child an it, I know it's like a, a thing, supposed to be unlovable, supposed to be a joke, supposed to be just endearing. Apparently the child likes it and is okay with it but at the end of the day objectifying your child and saying that it is a thing an object a creature a beast everything under the sun to say i really can't put into words <laughs> what it is i actually want to say but it is not it's not nice right i read a book some years ago it's called a child called it and it's very different to what they're doing here but the point is that that child was called an it by its mother like in a serious because that child was worth nothing now this reminds me of that although it's very different if that makes sense basically 
calling your child an it kind of takes away themselves from themselves and it's just it it leaves me with a very icky feeling even though it's intended apparently to be endearing now they've even got it as the main theme of the channel banner subscribe or it will eat you i didn't get that at first when i first saw it but having read and and watched all the videos and stuff it just seems even weirder to me but without context um you've got a picture of your child and then you're saying it's gonna eat you anyway i just feel that's a little bit in inappropriate but bear in mind they have two other children who is not part of this whole thing you know so why not use one of those i'm not suggesting using any, any of them but anyway there's that but then have a look at these this whole list this is just this is a list of all the not not even all of them to be fair but huge amounts of the the videos that they have on their channel which says it and it a lot of them are relating to cookies i actually searched for cookie because it seems to be a theme on their channel as well the fact that this child eats lots of cookies and it's just they're, they're calling her it it all the virtually every single video it and cookie and eating cookies and it it is eating i feel like i'm probably not making an awful lot of sense in this video but it's just it comes across really really with a bad taste in my mouth about this whole um de desensitizing your child from itself see even i've just said it it herself she's she's a her she is her own person and even if your child thinks even if your child says that she's okay with it maybe even just do it in in private but to to bring it out publicly and say well you know we think this amount of our child that we're gonna call her a creature or an it it's just it feels very very wrong and another issue is this they have another child who has autism and has issues and they put out this video which got a lot of backlash today's a good day for pancakes yeah yeah Okay, so what they've put up there is she was the perfect baby, but then we noticed something wrong. And this was what was spotted and had an entire thread in the comments section underneath it. There is nothing wrong with her and the fact that Kelly said she was the perfect baby and then we noticed something was wrong breaks my heart so it's been noticed and noted by quite a few people the wording that Kelly put on that video and now I don't know what what her actual intentions were I'm sure it must have been like a miss you know it must have not being intended the way that people took it i'm sure i hope it wasn't anyway but it was really badly written really badly worded it did say she was the perfect baby 
no, she's not the perfect. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's just one other thing. And obviously, putting out your child's diagnosis on the internet for everybody to know about is never a good option. I don't know if these are new to the game, but they have over 2,000 videos, so probably not. Finally, I'd like to end with something that I picked up on because this should act as a warning for, for any family vlogger, in actual fact, but this was in the comments as well. This person has written, Hello Jordan, I am a college senior who has autism, OCD, ADHD and generalised anxiety. You will have good days and bad days. I have two pieces of advice for you. One, advocate for yourself. Two, be kind. You're beautiful and it is so cool to watch you in the videos. Have a great day. P.S. Your smile is beautiful. Now, right, issues are abundant with this one, right? This girl is, I'm not quite sure how old she is, but she's a uh, young, she's pretty young, right? And this is a comment from a college senior, which is how old? All my American friends out there, please let me know how old this person might be. But it's a senior, not a junior, so I'm guessing like late teens, yeah? The point here is that this person is far, far too old to be talking directly to this child. Talking direct. I like say, hello, Jordan. Yeah, I've got this advice for you, right? That is bad enough in itself because you, you shouldn't be talking to a child that young online. Just, just you shouldn't be, right? And secondly, just saying, you know, given compliments have um your smile is beautiful you are beautiful and things like that that's not appropriate to be talking uh, you know given your huge age group age gap so my point here is that you see this across the internet day in day out in all comment sections especially where kids are in videos of and people think that this is normal and people think it's normal for you to to go up to a random child and say i think you're beautiful or even just give them advice and talk to them one to one even in the comment section but it's not normal it's, it's not right you don't know that child just because just because they are in a video you don't know who they are you don't know them they're not your child even though they're putting, being put out there so when we're talking about family vlogging and things like that even though yes it is always on the parents as to what they put out and it's their responsibility but we as viewers also have a responsibility to not engage with the child that's behind that screen because they're not your child and you see that every day in comment sections right the way across the internet so i just wanted to leave you with that <laughs> those words of wisdom i'm sorry i really am struggling to be able to talk today in a cohesive way so i hope something in this video has made sense to you if you've stuck to the end thank you so much and um please give it a, a thumbs up because it's it's not come easy to me until next time please give your comments in the comments below let me know have you seen these before have you heard about them have you watched them are you a regular viewer because i see the attraction because they're fun and they're energetic and you know they the jumping from ceilings and stuff i guess that is attractive to watch to, to some people you know 
Let me know all your thoughts below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you have any suggestions about future videos, please let me know as well. I'm going to stop talking now because I'm giving myself a headache. Until next time, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.